The racing for me has always been something that my dad and I do together and I very rarely do any races if he's not there driving with me and we drive in very similar classes and we get to compete with each other. I mean for me it's it's really the coolest experience in the world because it's it's uh, something that we always share together and I'll never forget um, when I went off to college last year he called me after one of his go-kart races and he said man you know it wasn't anywhere near as much fun not having you there and I remember smiling and laughing and going yeah you know it's not it's not the same when he's not there it, it's really not it's not the same full enjo enjoyable experience when he's not there Well, the, there's definitely a lot of exhilaration, um, but what's funny is that after doing it for a long time, you start to not realize how fast you're going. Driving these cars fast is a heck of a lot of fun, but when you're driving it, it the speed isn't so much uh, what you're focused on. You're more so focused on what's my next, what's my next move. The place where I feel it, regardless, is at the start of the race when you're when you're waiting for the, the starter who waves the green flag, that signals the start of the race. When I'm waiting for that green flag, I can feel my heart rate is just so high. Uh. So my favorite moment in my racing career was uh, in 2013. I got to drive um, a Formula Atlantic car the morning before the Formula One race in Austin, Texas. So it's, called, it's what's called a support race where they take a group of guys and a group of cars and you get to drive on the Formula One track in front of the Formula One spectators the morning before the race. So that was pretty cool. And on top of that, I won the race. So I got to go up onto the Formula One podium that was surrounded by Dallas Cowboy girls because that's what all the drivers do. At the time I was 16, so I walk out onto the podium and a tradition in racing is spraying champagne. So they handed me a bottle of champagne not thinking that, you know, I'm under 21. And we're, get, we're getting up there and spraying champagne and, some, and, and all, uh, and then someone, someone yells, hey, wait a second, I don't think that kid's 21. And for me, that was definitely the coolest part, being able to stand on top of a Formula One podium, wearing the hat that Formula One drivers get to wear when they win, and looking out at my family, and then not a huge crowd of spectators, but a reasonably sized uh, crowd of spectators. Well, the big attraction for me was I wanted to play high-level golf with a high-level education on the West Coast. So, you know, you enter those three criteria and, and CMC pops up. But what really did it for me is me, when I met with Coach Jolly Moore on my unofficial visit, I think it was when I was a junior in high school or junior, senior in high school, I just felt like I belonged here and I felt like I was surrounded by a bunch of kids who were very similar to me and that they had a lot of them you know they do really cool things outside of school but they all also excel in the classroom and CMC just felt like the perfect balance of playing golf at a high level competitively but not not having my life run by uh, make, going to 6 a.m. workouts and playing golf eight hours a day not being able to study what I like and improve those skills that will help me in my career in the future.